what's up guys? It's Covert Code here, and in today's video, we're going to be resuming our Zero to Hero series. Welcome back to episode 10, which is about while loops. Now, in the previous video, we covered how to use repeat loops, and in this video, it's going to be revolving around the same concept, however, with a few twists. So, let's just open the script back up and delete everything. And I'm going to show you how to actually write out a while loop. So the keyword is while. So just while, okay? And condition do and, you know, do code here. Now, essentially, this is very similar to a repeat loop, okay? So while a condition is true, it's going to actually do the code inside of here. And it'll go back up and it'll check if the condition is true, and if it is, then it'll keep doing this. So, for example, um, while counter is equal to zero, so it's going to do everything in here, okay? So it's going to run this loop as long as the counter is equal to zero. And in this case, it's always going to run because the counter variable is not being modified, so it's always equal to zero, therefore this will always be true. And just like with repeat loops, you're going to need to add a wait if it's an infinite loop. Why? Because if you don't, then your Roblox Studio will crash. Just try this out. Actually, I wouldn't recommend trying this out. Um, but if you don't believe me, just remove the wait and just press play and your Roblox Studio will crash. So ideally, if you want to avoid that, just add a wait, okay? And then while this is true, it'll just do whatever is inside here. Now, this essentially is checking if the condition is true and one of the use cases for while loops is just generally an infinite loop so if you want something to run forever intentionally you don't have to declare a variable like this and just check if it's equal to something you could just do while true do okay so this is always going to return true because true is equal to true so remember guys in the if statements video you had something like this so if variable then do stuff okay this is essentially the same thing remember that this is always equivalent to this so if this variable is equal to true then it will do stuff and this is essentially while true is equal to true okay so if i did uh this counter is equal to zero this is equivalent to this so if this is equal to zero this will become true Okay, and if true is equal to true, then it'll do the code. That's how it's broken down generally. You don't have to really memorize the process. However, I would just suggest knowing how it works. So let me just undo everything here. Um, so just remember that if you write while true do, you're essentially checking if true is equal to true. Okay, so let me just delete this and you've got the code. Okay, so if you remove this part, it's the same. Remember that, okay? And this here will run forever because true will always be equal to true. So if I print uh, looping, okay, and press run, it's always going to print looping. It's never going to stop, okay? So as you guys can see, it's going to infinitely print out looping. So let's just stop. Okay, but now let's say we actually want this to stop at some point. So I want this to stop when it reaches 50. So when the counter reaches 50, this loop will stop, okay? The way we can do that is by using something called break, okay? And now I'll explain this in just a second, but if we increase the counter variable by one, okay? Every time the loop runs and print out the counter, okay? Essentially what we're doing here is just infinitely adding one to the counter. And as you guys can see, it's just going to print out one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to infinity, okay? So, it's just constantly adding one to the variable. Now, all we need to do is implement the if conditions we learned about and check if the counter is equal to 50. So if counter is equal to 50, then break. Okay, so if the counter variable is equal to 50, then this will break. Now, what I mean by break is it will stop the loop. So it will exit out of the loop. Okay, so that's the equivalent of this being false and what i mean by that is if this is false this loop will stop running okay so let's say if counter is equal to five okay this will never run because counter is not equal to five 
Okay, so that's that's some logic there, but uh, essentially just know that the break will stop the loop. And this goes for any kind of loop out there on Roblox. So if you type out break, it will instantly exit out of the the uh, loop, any loop. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, a nifty trick, uh, which I think you guys should know about is you don't have to add the weight here. Okay, so if you're just trying to make an infinite loop, you could just remove this and paste it there okay and that essentially will do the same thing okay without having an extra line right here so that's pretty much it guys for while loops um what i would suggest is as always practice try different sort of use cases for while loops so try mixing them up with the, the if conditions like we did here and try mixing them up with any other thing that you've learned thus far like changing properties so we could make a while loop um which constantly changes the color of a brick using the knowledge that we've acquired thus far. So yeah, that, just keep practicing and you'll get better scripting. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, leave comments in the comment section down below suggesting what videos I should make next, and I'll see you guys next time.